Stay away from negative and toxic people. They'll destroy you and give you diseases. I am not kidding when I say that. And a lot of people are not accustomed or acquired to this knowledge. They don't know this. They don't know that when you're hanging around a certain crowd, that you'll become them. You'll become one of them of that crowd. And that's why when you were a kid and you were younger, your parents always told you stop hanging around with the wrong crowd. Those people were bad. And I remember I, even when I was a kid, I remember being the third grade and I was best friends with this crash out. This crash out dude who used to be wild, you know, but I still got love for him till this day. Like real shit. But he used to be crashing the fuck out. I ain't gonna lie. Like, nobody wanted to smoke with him. None of that. I ain't gonna sit here and cap. But it was just negative energy that I was around. People doing dumb shit, doing crazy shit, wild shit. And, you know what I'm saying? I had to separate myself from that because I liked sports. And I loved to play soccer at the time and basketball. So I stopped hanging out with that person. And that person, over the years, ended up smoking weed by, like, the sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? Getting expelled from school type shit. You know what I mean? Things like that. And... You know, just living the regular hood dude life. You see what I'm saying? So I got the 48 Laws of Power, and they got this one chapter. It says, infection, avoid the unhappy and the unlucky. You can die from someone else's misery. Emotional states are as infectious as diseases, and that's no cap. You may feel you are helping the drowning man, but you're only participating in your own disaster. The unfortunate sometimes draw misfortunes on themselves. They will also draw it on you. Associate with the happy and fortunate instead. First thing is you are who you hang out with. I have endless stories of me coming up and understanding that I became who I hung out with, right? For instance, in high school, I was the knucklehead. I was the person who was flaming everybody. I was throwing jokes at everybody. I was throwing jokes at the teacher, all types of shit. And eventually I formed a group of my homeboys and we just was all chill. We all played basketball. We all hit the gym. We were all knuckleheads, we were all getting in trouble, and we all started to smoke weed. From the moment we woke up, my homeboy picked me up to go hit the gym, we was lighting a blunt up, you see what I'm saying? So I became a stoner of that, and I'm not blaming others, because I was the main one, one of the main ones, like, yo, where the weed at, where the blunts at, where the bitches at, like, shit like that, at all times. That's a clear example that you are who you hang out with, you become and develop that. That's why they say birds of a feather flock together, because they're all in a group, you see what I'm saying? Hanging out with crash outs, you'll become a crash out. If you're hanging out with negative people, you'll become negative. You know what I'm saying? That's that's very important. I need you to understand that. So now, since you know this, you have to understand you need to hang out with the people who are like-minded like you, who want to win in this life, who wants to make millions of dollars, who wants to do more and elevate their life, hang out with those people. It doesn't matter if this kid's like the popular kid and everything like that, because I was one of the popular kids who was like, you know what I'm saying? Just always in trouble. So my name was always ringing bells around school and all types of shit, but not in a good way. All the homies who hung around me started getting in trouble. All the homies around me hit the gym. All the homies around me played ball. You know what I'm saying? All the homies around me started to smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? So it's an endless cycle, real shit. So now that you're choosing people that you want to hang out with, choose people who are... You know what I'm saying? More successful, who has like-minded ideas. Maybe if you're a dude and you want to, you know what I'm saying, hit the gym. I had my homeboys as gym rats. The only thing is, we will walk into the gym high as fuck, but we will still be putting in that work. So it's like, it was like a yin and yang at that point where I have the good and then the bad within my group of who we are. I knew a couple shorties that were pure as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like maybe a virgin or having one or two bodies maxed out, maxed out. Then they go and hang out with a bunch of thoughts. That bitch running up the scoreboard. You see what I'm saying? She end up getting some bodies on bodies on bodies. You see what I'm saying? And it comes like that. Like, yo, I remember you when you was pure. Like, what the fuck? But it was all because of the people that they hung around. You see what I'm saying? Her friends were thoughts. And they were telling her, like, yo, fuck him. Let's go to the club. Let's go party. Bro, come around the way. I find out this information, this knowledge. They said, this dude been in her. I'm like, damn, that bitch been around town. Like, yo. Like, chill, value yourself, you see what I'm saying? Their ideals will be instilled upon you, and you'll pick up their habits without realizing this. This is one thing I need you to understand. You won't realize this shit. You will start to act a certain way. Think about this as well. When you're in a relationship, either with your shorty, or you know you got your homeboys around, right? We all say the same shit. We all start to pick up the same certain slang, you see what I'm saying? When shorties come around my way, and they're around me, and they spend a good amount of time with me, they end up saying what I say. Like, I, we made up our own slang back when we was kids, like in high school. And to this day, I still say a lot of those words. So they would ask, yo, what does that mean? And every time I kept saying the word, she ends up picking up on your slang. So without you realizing, like, yo, shorty really picking up on my slang. Like, you know what I'm saying? My homies, you know, your yeah, homeboys, you, you guys always got your own certain type of slang or some shit. Or you got your own saying or your own jokes and shit. 
then other people pick up on that. Like even in school, high school, I could tell you, we had our own slang and everyone else started to pick up on our slang. Even kids older than us, kids younger than us, they would pick up on what we were saying. And it was like, all right, yeah, why everybody trying to be down? But like, it's because they're hearing that shit enough. You, you're you around certain people, you're going to start talking like them, moving like them, having the same ideas as them. If you hanging out with Crash House, you thinking like, yo, shit, they talking about, yo, we got this perfect lick, we about to go rob the store, this, that, or some shit, or go rob this dude. You like, hold on, bro, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. You start to pick up on it regardless, you know what I'm saying, without realizing. Maybe you don't go do that, but you'll start to have negative thoughts, which lower your vibration. But this as well is, I remember I had this one shorty, right, and she had her best friend. But her best friend was like this toxic girl. I ain't going to cap. Like, not toxic of like an ugly person. It was just always a person who was depressed and negative and sad at all times. Like, I remember Shorty used to go over to her house and shit like that. And she would call me and just be talking about this girl and her problems. I'm like, yo, save that for yourself because I don't even want to hear all that nut shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then she would always tell me like, yo, this girl is so negative. Like, it's always just something sad or depressed. Like... It's nothing good, it's no light, it's no fun, it's no smile, it's no happiness. This is a depressed human. That human has a disease because it's instilled by what it thinks. It always says, I am depressed. It always says, I am negative. It always says something negative, so your, sub your conscious mind picks up on that. And then your subconscious mind picks up on that, and it brings it to your reality. Understand this one thing. Your subconscious mind cannot tell a joke from a truth. You see what I'm saying? It can't tell a lie from the truth. So if you want to program yourself in a positive way, say things that are going to uplift you. And then your subconscious mind picks up on it like, oh yeah, that's who we are. If I say I'm positive and I allow it to go through my conscious mind, the subconscious mind is like, yeah, I am positive. I am strong. I am happy. So watch what you say about yourself. And I'm going to make a whole separate video on words never, never to say. I'm going to make that whole separate video because that's so fucking important. But that person is so that sad, depressed, negative. You pick up on that shit eventually, no matter what it is. You start to feel remorse for that person. Like, damn, like she might be going through some things or he might be going through some things. But if it's a continuous cycle, fuck out of here. I can't have that shit around me. I'm going to keep it a beam. Like, if you always sad, if you always negative, if you always on some ugly shit, you're a rude person, get up away from me because I don't want that. It's not good vibes. It's not good energy. You see what I'm saying? And eventually, with the shorty I was talking to at this time, she told me, like, nah, listen. She told me, like, nah, I had to cut her off. Like, I remember this one day, she was like, nah, I'm cutting her off. I was like, word, why? Like, that's your best friend. You see what I'm saying? But she's like, nah, she always negative. She's always sad. Even if I try to help her, she's negative. It's like that person, she literally has a disease mentally because she's instilling upon herself that she's sad so she's like nah i had to i gotta cut her off you know what i'm saying that's with anybody i don't give a fuck if you bro family members any of that if i'm telling you to tighten up and yo don't come around me with that negative energy and you keep coming you gotta go bro i don't give a fuck and i done met shorties that i've even talked to most of the shorties that i like i love them pure i love them positive i love them not knowing things because it's like yo with all of the hardships in life and shit like that, all the negative things and everything about complaining. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put that in there. Complaining is huge. Don't be around people who complain. Fuck out of here, bro. Because you get up on that. Why would you complain? Complain is a negative emotion, negative vibration. Get the fuck from around me. I'm not hearing none of this shit you talking about. Yo, and dudes and girls be complaining about the most pussiest shit. It'll be like, oh my God, oh. Uh, I woke up today and I felt tired. Shut the fuck up. Tighten up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hear that shit because I don't want that within me. I need you to really get a grasp of what I'm saying. Don't allow negative things in your mind, negative people around you, any of that, because it's only going to hinder you. I need you to understand that eventually. It might not hinder you the day that you pick up your homeboy and he's over here just on some sad, depressed shit. Like, yeah, I'm going to help bro out. But if I'm feeling jolly like at all times because I listen to my music, I turn the fuck up. And I pick you up and you on some sad, depressed, negative, complaining shit. I'm going to tighten you up. Or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, say he get out of a breakup or some shit. I'm going to be there for him for sure. If it's a continuous cycle of just complaining about bullshit and negative things and always feeling sad, it's lowering your vibration. Get it out. You do not need that within your own reality in your life. You should want your people to be as confident as you, as powerful as you, that think they can do whatever in this world. Those are the people that I hang around now. Even to the most delusional type things like one of my homeboys he's the funniest dude i ever met in the world like and he doesn't try he literally doesn't try like i remember one time i was arguing with him about some shit about like we watching boxing we was watching mike tyson or some shit 
And bro was over here, it's delusional. Trust me, it's delusional. And I'm telling him, like, yo, stop talking like that before Mike Tyson come around the way. And I'm just joking. Like, Mike Tyson come around the way and he whoop your ass. He like, yo, speak for yourself, bro. It's none of that over here. It's none of that. And now that I look back to it, I'm like, yo, this motherfucker does not allow any negative things to come into his mind. Even if it's delusional, because Mike Tyson would really come and whoop his ass. But, like, he would be like, nah, speak for yourself, bro. Because he doesn't want any negativity within this human vessel. I get it. I really get it now. But he did it without realizing this. Like, he will never see himself losing, never see himself not accomplishing anything that he wants. And that's the people that I want to be around because it's uplifting. If you're hanging around the opposite, how else are you going to feel? Like, even if this motherfucker is delusional like him, I'm going to be like, word, I feel what you're talking about, though. Like, because I don't like to see myself lose either. Like, fuck is you talking about? But if you hang out with the opposite... It's only going to put you down and negative. Like, fuck all that, bro. Why are you going to hang out with somebody that's negative? This could be your best homie. This could be your sister. This could be your, your cousins, whoever. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about none of that. You're not coming over here with that nut shit. Keep that within you. Speak for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, man. He funny as shit. Lastly, judge people off their actions and vibrations. How they make you feel. This is the biggest thing because everybody just talk about shit. I hear people, oh, I'm about to start hitting the gym. I'm about to start doing this. They never go. Fuck going off of their words. Go off their actions. See if what this person does and the energy that they have within themselves is a good person. You see what I'm saying? Like some people that I know around my way, my homeboys that I love out here, they reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? Like they reach out and show love. Like, hey, bro, how you doing? I haven't talked to you in a minute. Yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? Let's go kick it. Let's go hoop. Let's go do some. And I'm like, yo, that's really lit. Like, this is really a good human. Like, he's checking up on the people that he loves. And that means he loves me, so I love you. You see what I'm saying? Like, that is how you you go off of their actions. Not by what they say of people be like, the, the nicest person in the world, blah, blah, blah. And then they're dickheads to everyone. Like, no. Fuck no. Like, literally, don't go, go off their actions. Like, if you were to go off my actions in real life, all I do is show love to people. I don't want nobody to feel hindered. This is why I'm even making these videos so that you can get some knowledge and game upon this. I don't want nobody to feel hindered. If this man comes and says, I'm the best in the fucking world, I feel happy for you regardless. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, word, I feel you because I feel like that in the inside. I don't I don't want to hinder you like, oh, if this dude come around the way saying I'm the best in the world or eh, if the, a dude do come around the way and be like, I'm the best in the room, I'll be like, nah, not over here. I might not be in that room or something because shit, I'm, you feel me? But, <laughs> but it's like literally go off of people's actions. If they're showing love, that's a good person. If there's somebody who's negative, who's rude, who's always, you know what I'm saying, hating on people. Like, think about that. If you hanging out with a hating ass dude, you was a hater too. Like, they say hanging around a sucker for two seconds is too long. I'm like, word, I feel what you're saying. Hanging around a sucker for two seconds is too long because that shit can adapt to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, of someone who, who has pure hatred with people who be like, I hate that motherfucker or I hate that dude, like, Nah, I don't fuck with you, bro. Because I couldn't even hate them, you know what I'm saying, depending on the situation. But it's like, I don't hate nobody. Even if I don't like you, I don't hate you. You know what I'm saying? We might have different ideologies, different ways of life and how we think. But hating? Nah, couldn't do that one. I hope that you find the best. Even with exes, all of that. I'm not about to sit here and hate on that person. I hope I wish them the best. You see what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and hate on Shorty. Like, it's like, yo, I'm just not going to hate on you. Like, I'm not going to send hatred your way because I feel like, I feel as if that means I got hate within me and I ain't got no motherfucking hate. I want everybody to win. You have to literally go off of people's actions and how they make you feel. Like that girl I was talking about, her, her best friend, her best friend was making her feel some certain type of way. Always negative, always sad, depressed, nothing happy, always negative. She got rid of her. And as that, I'm like, word, like, I really respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's your best friend. That was somebody that you love and you hung out with all the time, but you had to let go. You see what I'm saying? Judge people off their vibrations. Like, when I see a shorty go around the way and she's smiling, she always saying hi, she's not negative or rude or mean to other people, I find her as, like, the most attractive. Even if she's somewhat, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if she ugly, I'm not going to really go for it, but I still see that that's a beautiful human, despise this outer vessel. You see what I'm saying? Like, she might be a little big, you know what I'm saying? Like, But if she has generally good energy, you come around her way and you feel like, yeah, she's lit. She's a good person. She's nice. That means a lot more than just this outside vessel. You know what I'm saying? Like that's someone you would actually hang out with. You know what I'm saying? If your homeboys are showing you love or if they're very good and like locked in. Like my homeboys that I know, 
around my area, they locked in on what they doing the same way I am. So that every now and then we go hoop. I go, I get into it though. We get into the buckets. Like I start shit talking and all that. But it's out of love though. Like it literally is. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just I got mad love for you, so I can't let you go out like a lame. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna push you to your limits, even in ball. If you if you're not ready to play me in ball, then if you're not ready for some shit talk or something like that, then that's on you. Cause you gotta tighten that shit up. But it's literally judge people of their actions and vibrations and their energy. If this person has good energy, you know it's a good person. Like, you can even think about somebody. Like, how I thought about my homeboy who checks up on me. I know that's a good person, like, instantly. Just off the actions, you know what I'm saying? Just who he is. He checks up on people. He's always inviting people out. We always hooping together. Even when we go around the way, he just shows love. He'll give his last dollar to anybody. That's someone off their morals and actions. That's a good dude. You see what I'm saying? But somebody who's crashing out, who's always putting somebody down, who's always hating on somebody and shit, fuck out of here. And if you hating, if you was a hater, like, you was a hater, you just a lame. Like, if, like think about this, too. I was just talking about it, I think, in my other video. You know when people in, like, the YouTube comments and shit like that who, who be commenting on videos and shit be hating like a motherfucker? I'm like, damn, like, you was a lame. Like, you got nothing better to do with your day. Because even when I didn't like a video and I, I couldn't stand the video, say I did, I despised any video. I couldn't have it in me to go to the comments and be like, you're a dickhead or you're, you're a bitch or you're this. Like, why? Like, what? Like, that's how I know. Like, bro, just by my actions of who I am, couldn't do that one. I couldn't do it if I wanted to. Like, I look at the comment, I'm a hating ass dude. Like, oh man, what the fuck I look like? Like, I keep it to myself if I got, like, if I'm, if I, if I feel like I'm hating or I want to hate on you or something. I'd rather keep it within me because I don't want other people to feel negative and shit. Tripping, boy. So. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from negative and toxic people. They'll destroy you and give you diseases. The ideologies of how they make you feel is something so bad to stay away from. If it's not uplifting, get it away from you. If that person that you're hanging out with isn't confident, if it's always insecure, if she's always negative, a bad person, fuck from around me. If, if it's a negative dude, crash out, doesn't have nothing to lose, like he's not doing shit day to day on his life, get him out of here, coach. Like, shout out to Illuminati. What he said, get him out of here, coach. So... Stay away from the negative and toxic people. They'll destroy you and give you diseases. Real shit. So I love y'all, bro. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave my last video right here for you guys. So if you missed upon that, go watch that video. So stay yourself. Stay 300. And whatever you're doing, like, trust me, I believe you, bro.